Next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 12 wins, three losses. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 252 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Tom Espinosa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Surreal Bagamada! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Opens with the inside leg kick. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and 
I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Use your footwork now. It's okay. Oh, single collar tie here. Big call for Punch Man. Now he gets back to range. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big punch man over the top. How's he going to follow this one? All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most significant. That was the best one. But what I like about him throwing his punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic... Oh! Oh! His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got a first bag. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh! <laughs> Throwing that jab, no good. Certain the finish could come at any time. Oh, straight right. Oh. He blocks the shot. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Final seconds here of round one. Beautiful leg kick move. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. been a big storyline in this one, and there it is again. So just when you thought maybe the opponent had made the requisite adjustments, he gets cracked again. He gets cracked again, and it does not take many of those hooks to end your night. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice straight punch. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice. Go finish 
vicious fight. That one was supposed to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 30 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions, yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams, but to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face, you can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time, and now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, Oh, by the yeah, way. man, this is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt.